We're finally ready for Halloween Horror Nights. We are live from Universal Orlando Studios and we are looking forward to seeing the last updates for Halloween Horror Nights 2022. It is three days away until they open it up for the media and team member preview. Let's go inside and check out all the new updates. I can already smell the fog. I am so stoked. They just put up entranceway sign that says Halloween Horror Nights and shows all of the houses right across the arch. You have no idea how excited I am. Let's go inside and see the final updates. It should almost be 100% set up. Let's go, let's get started. Obviously, it is not live right now, but we are ready to go. I got my Halloween shirt on. This is not a Horror Nights shirt. This is probably from Walmart or Kmart. Wait till you see the entranceway, scare zone, horrors of Halloween. This has the pumpkin lord and I can show you exactly where he's gonna be located. Let's go inside. The horrors of Halloween. The entranceway scare zone. This is where the pumpkin lord will greet you at the very beginning. This is from Wicked Growth last year, one of the most popular universal or Orlando exclusive houses. This is the entrance way scare zone called Horrors of Halloween. Here we have all of the representations. So there's gonna be representation of every single scare zone and house. I assume that these are gonna be the scare zones through here. So this will be Conjure the Dark scare zone or Witch's Coven, Spirits of the Coven house. It could be either or, both witch related. So our first representation of the first house slash scare zone. This is gonna be crazy. The cauldron's gonna light up. You could see lights under there. Maybe there'll be a fog effect. We'll see. Look at this detail right here. Wow, a voodoo doll. That is so cool. Don't do this, people. If this was somebody at the park, please don't do this. Don't ruin the props. Then you have all these potions, other elixirs. That's pretty cool. And in the middle, you have the witch's broomstick. Wow, I am so excited. So this little booth right here, this little stanchion, represents the deadly unrest, the deadly unrest scare zone. You could see a little tombstone right here. So that is definitely going to be Nettlewood Cemetery representation here at the horror of Halloween Scare Zone 2022. Let's go. So right here, we have our last representation of the Scare Zones. I don't know if they'll add a few more tonight, overnight, but we only got like three days left until it's open, guys. This is gonna be Sweet's Revenge. As you can see, the candy right here, which is gonna be turning kids into maniacs. So this is very fun. Sweet's Revenge, you got some candy. You got some Halloween masks because it takes place during Halloween. So this is gonna be a very interesting Scare Zone. All of these are being represented in the horrors of Halloween scare zone as soon as you walk through the entrance gates. This is awesome. Here we are right outside of Transformers, our first food booth. I have filmed this in my previous videos, but now they have a menu. Take a look at this menu right here. We have Voodoo Ranger drinks. We have White Claw. We have a PB&J. That looks interesting. A fried PB&J. Fried Twinkies. That's, that's like a carnival vibe to me. And then look at this beautiful canned beer. Lactose Cooler. Or sorry, Lacto Cooler. This is is a, a reference to Ghostbusters and it looks like Lactocore Voodoo Brewing Company. I've never tried that. I wonder what type of beer that is. It looks like flavored. Oh, it's a wheat ale. So this is a wheat ale beer right here at the food booth right outside of Transformers. Well, looks like this Voodoo Brewing Company Lacto Cooler is going to be a very popular drink because they have it at multiple booths. They have it at multiple drink stands, but this one also has Twisted Taters. So this is going to be the Twisted Taters right here. This is what it looks like. Twisted Taters booth, different from last year. Like I said, last year just said Twisted Taters. But let's look at this new option. Fiery Twisted Tater with queso. So it's gonna have cheese and what looks like maybe flaming Hot Cheeto dust covering the taters. Last year, this menu was pretty much exactly the same. And they had the ghost pepper, which was my favorite. But this year, if you get a fiery Twisted Tater with queso, that's gonna have what looks like flaming Hot Cheese dust right there. So that looks awesome. And Dracula's booth has decent menu. What I'm very interested is these petrified rat tails I believe is this cheese fry dish right here because the other option is spicy turkey and squash bun so I don't think that's spicy turkey and squash bun I think that's the petrified rat tails which looks like cheese fries and I'm excited if those are cheese fries they could be sweet potato fries covered in cheese I'll see about that but those look pretty interesting major sweets ice cream sandwich now I saw a TikTok where people got to preview these and this looked pretty popular if you don't remember major sweets Candy Company is the name of the candy company that is part of this scare zone over here, Sweets Revenge, right outside of the Mummy. And hopefully Mummy open 
things up. I know that they were doing team member previews, but hopefully it'll be open during Horror Nights. That would be awesome. So this is where you could get the Major Sweets ice cream sandwich. In one of my previous videos, I said you can probably get the Major Sweets Candy Company candy. So hopefully they'll have more of this inside the tribute store over here. So we're at the Mr. Meats little food booth right here and it's all glowing up. This bar is really cool. One of the amazing food items that they have this year is this spoiled angry bear meat. And it's basically marshmallows with flaming Hot Cheetos, but it looks like ground beef. Oh, sorry, this is it. It looks like ground beef right up here. That is insane. I cannot believe that they did something like that. Then you have like a gummy heart right here. All of these items look pretty interesting. This is gonna be an interesting year. What is this? 100% fresh ground. Oh, this is this. Fresh ground princess. Sweet raspberry flavored rice crispy. So both of these are rice crispy treats made to look like meat. That is absolutely insane. Kind of grosses me out, but also pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I probably will try one of these. Here we have meat locker which is leading back to another food booth back here i've showed this in a previous video let's go check that out real quick here we go this is the other food booth mr meats food booth and it looks like they have some of the same items back here i don't think i see anything new so it looks like this is just a second location for all of those items and it is pouring rain all right guys unfortunately it is raining it is raining here at the conjure the dark scare zone right outside of the exit to fast and the furious this is all all new. This has all been set up. This is a witch's scare zone. We got we had a cauldron right over here. We got an area for a scare actor to pop out right here. Right here, there'll be a scare actor. You could actually see the foot pedal right down there. And this is gonna be Conjure the Dark Scare Zone. Very cool. But here we got another place where a scare actor will hide. And around the corner is the big cauldron that we've been seeing for the past few weeks. Let's go look at this. Let's go look at this detail over here. All right, so we got a cauldron right here and some skulls, some animal bones. This is definitely very witchcraft vibes to me. Conjure the Dark is what this scare zone will be called. We got a stump right here and a scare actor will be right here. I don't see, oh, fog machine spotted. I was just about to see, say, I was just about where's to say, fog? where's the fog machine? Guys, it is pouring rain kind of right now. I'm drop. sorry if it's heavy on the drop. camera lens, but they got a fog machine right here. So that will be very good for this little scare right here. Conjure the Dark. All right, so this is the stage that we've been filming the past few weeks. Conjure the Dark scare zone with these ruins, runes right here. And they're is a drink booth right back here behind the Lombard's Landing. There's a few drink booths. I think there was like three or four back there. And it's gonna all relate to the scare zone because all the drink and food booths are gonna have a theme this year. You got some corn over here. I believe this takes place on Halloween like many of the scare zones do this year. And obviously there's gonna be a victim of some sort of witch right here. Sorry, I got my drink in my hand. But we got a witch victim right here or maybe a witch herself. And then this cauldron will probably be boiling over gonna have some smoke probably maybe some boiling effects and this place is gonna be scary i think this might be the scariest scare zone honestly you got this body right here this could be robotic it could move possibly actually sorry no it is tied down so it looks like it's not gonna move this is gonna be interesting to see what's underneath this tarp this is gonna be a scary scary scare zone it's gonna be crazy. you got more items over here some uh demonic looking stuff because obviously they're going full witch here at the conjure the dark and it is raining hard, but there are goat's heads, skulls, lots of cool stuff, guys. It is raining. We got to seek shelter. So we're back by the Conjure the Dark food and drink booths. Actually, I think these are just drink booths. Yeah, it looks like all they have is beverages. So this is just a drink booth for Conjure the Dark Scare Zone. And you have all these ruin runes. You have all these runes back here, these pillars with these green lights. There are drink booths around the corner. We have a drink booth back here, Conjure the Dark themed. And there are two more around the corner. They just roped this off. It was open a few days ago. They didn't have it roped off, but we got another ruin rune. We got another rune slab right here and then a few over there. So keeping up with the theming, this year is going to be insane. All right. Last year they had this Chucky booth set up and it was a photo op. So I don't know if this year will be a photo op or if the real guy will be here, Chucky himself. I'm hoping Chucky himself will be here because be he's always a fan favorite. Everyone loves Chucky. He makes jokes. He interacts with you. It's always a good time. Of course, we got the pumpkin booth right over here let's see the menu it's all lit up it looks fantastic let's go look at this menu no menu secret top secret top secret, Pumpkin top top, secret. it's still raining guys this rain will not go away all right we are here next to the spongebob store we have our chucky food booth with the good guys burger now i can see i can see jalapenos on there let me zoom in all right i see jalapenos i see barbecue potatoes maybe and then i think this drizzle on top that looks like captain crunch and then I think this drizzle 
Purple has to be caramel. Wanna play beignet, obviously a beignet. And then we got our other drinks that we've seen before at all the food booths. So yeah, we filmed this in our other videos. It's uh, Chucky's Playhouse right here, food and drink booth. And to confirm that this is Chucky's Playhouse, whose hand is that? All right, whose hand is that? Here at the Scarecrow Scare Zone food booth, we have Twisted Tater. So now they have two Twisted Tater booths. And last year, I think they set up a second Twisted Tater booth towards the end of the year, like towards the middle of October. But this year they're starting off strong with two Twisted Tater booths. And we have Fiery Twisted Tater with queso. This is gonna be interesting. Probably the first thing I'll try. And what's, what's very interesting is they don't have the Twisted Tater with the sausage down the middle. They had that last year and I don't see it on the menu. And this is gonna be probably a very popular booth. Here we see the Scarecrows right up here. Scarecrows Cursed Soil. That is the Scarecrow Scare Zone that this is referencing right here. That means that this is gonna be the Scarecrow Scare Zone. Let's look at that as an update. It is getting dark fast, but this is Scarecrow Cursed Soil. You got an outhouse that will probably open up with a scare actor inside. You're gonna have lights through the trees. There's a light stanchion right here. There's gonna be probably a scare actor around this plant right here. We'll see. And then you've got these spooky scarecrows set up over here. It is so dark, I apologize. But we have these scarecrows right here. That one has like a gas mask on. That's pretty interesting. Then we have this one right here, which looks like a victim of the scarecrows. And actually, funny enough, the headpiece on the scarecrow kind of looks like the Welcome to Scary house. Yo, it low key does. It looks bro. like Welcome That's to Scary, crazy. honestly. So maybe this ties into Welcome to Scary. And then we have this right here, classic looking scarecrow with a bird's cage or a some sort of cage on top of his head with the classic jack-o'-lantern. This is gonna be a cool scare zone right here. Scarecrow Cursed Soil. Right up here, you can see lanterns that are probably gonna be lit up at night. I wish they were lit up right now, but we're in the Scarecrow Cursed Soil scare zone right here. Kind of a small scare zone, but we do have gigantic stanchions slash lifted stages, and it looks like a barn. So it looks like you're gonna enter on this side. I mean, you could go either way. Me, it's two two-sided traffic, but we have more scarecrows right here. This is a really creepy one. And then that one, is that Vecna? No, I'm just kidding. So you have these stages to the side where scare actors are gonna stand and it does look like a barn. So hopefully this will be covered or at least they'll put something up to make it look more like a barn. But it looks like you have this windmill right here, windmill, you have this truck right here. Definitely giving me Halloween vibes. It's definitely giving me like cursed, basically a farm, farm that is being tormented by haunted scarecrows. Right here, we have the food booth for only house food booth and it is Fiesta de Chupacabra. Let's look at the menu. This glows in the dark. I love this design. This is absolutely insane. The orange with the green. This looks so good. Here is the menu. You obviously are gonna have a, you have these specialty drinks right here. This is probably the burning skull. The, the cup is shaped like a skull. So this will be the burning skull. I cannot pronounce this guys. My, I am so sorry. I'm bad at pronouncing Spanish, but here's the menu for the food right here for the Fiesta de Chupacabra house. So they made this fountain themed like Fiesta de Chupacabra, which is a house this year. And this is so unique. I have never seen anything like this before. I mean, they're theming areas around the park after the houses, which is super cool. I mean, you have a food and drink booth right here. And then right across here, you have a themed area to eat and drink right here in front of this fountain. This is so unique. I've never seen them do this before. Fiesta de Chupacabra will probably be a fan favorite house if I had to guess. Ghoulish, a Halloween tale. That is the nighttime tale. Sorry, that is the nighttime show that will be right here on the water. Ghoulish, a Halloween tale. That looks like a classic Halloween album. This is gonna be such a cool show to see over on the water with the projections over in the New York area. Guys, I have to say something. I don't mean to cut off Mitchell, but if you read at the very top, it says 13 page read along book and record. And it says 1031, it says a Halloween Horror Nights record and story. So my point of view, what if they're selling this storybook with a record like a CD inside of that? Record? Inside the tribute store? Is that a possibility? Like, inside the tribute store? Sell that story that they're telling? Like, at the Guys, leave a comment down below if you think they'll sell this record in the tribute store this year. Because it says a 13 page read along. Maybe, maybe not. So we have the weekend drink booth right here. It is one of the main drink booths next to where they'll have the show. So if you want to come see the firework and projection and water show, it'll be right behind the weekend booth where you can get some delicious cocktails. Save your tears. Looks like a Foster's bourbon drink with peach brandy. That sounds very interesting. Pressed lemon juice, agave nectar, so much stuff inside this with boba with little boba.
Noble Balls up top. This is gonna be a beautiful souvenir drink if you would like one for the weekend. This is gonna be it. The Tribute Store hasn't changed all that much, but they did add the Tribute Store across the front. If I had to guess, this will probably open up for everyone within the next three to four days. So less than a week and this should be open. I cannot wait to see what's inside. We're walking through the entranceway, horrors of Halloween scare zone and it looks like they're testing out the lights because you got two jack-o'-lanterns lit up right here in the entranceway scare zone that's pretty cool guys it's it's basically time it's it's here it's here we're finally ready for halloween horror nights we have done a full circle around the park less than a week until opening night of halloween horror nights 2022 guys if you're enjoying this video if you like this video maybe leave me a like it helps me out a lot i know you guys love these preview videos and halloween horror nights is right around the corner and if you haven't already maybe hit the subscribe button down below it really helps me out i love making these videos for you guys hope you enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching peace all right guys if you uh like today's video with mitch go drop him a follow go subscribe to his channel he makes great content videos every week don't want to miss out on it hit that notification bell if you want to see more videos like this also comment down below be cool like this guy and we'll see you in the next vlog peace